out anywhere you go. Hold up. Okay, so this is a new website I made where you can put your images and artworks and stuff and play around with them, glitch them out and cool stuff like that. So uh, you can get it from this URL. Of course, it will be in the description. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it uh, as well as what different image formats look like and like cool tricks you can do with them. So you know where to like start off with your experimentation. And it is a lot of fun to experiment and play around with this. Um, so definitely try it out on your own uh, content as well. Uh, but let's get started. So on the left, you have the image. So if you open an image, it's going to appear here. And on the right, you have the raw version of the image. So this is actually how uh, this image is stored in the file on your computer. and what you're going to do is you're going to move your mouse over it and that's going to let you see different kinds of glitches and stuff. Just move your mouse around. Ooh, I saw something fun here. And then you can use your mouse wheel or arrow keys to like see different variations uh, of the glitch. And if you click, it gets saved up here. Ooh, I'm not sure what happened here. I think I moved my mouse accidentally. But uh, you can also like scroll your mouse on this edit button or just click on it to get different variations uh, or use arrow keys, whatever. Um, and this way you can like save your glitches and build them up. So let's see if we can find something cool over here as well. Ooh, I like this one. So let's save that. And now we have a couple of glitches saved. So that's how you can play with your images. Uh, you'll notice that there's this like blue stuff on the top. So for some image formats, uh, such as PNGs, JPEGs, and uh, I think WebPs, uh, I've actually made it so that it uh, finds the like different chunks of the image and like marks them. So this here is the entire image data, but there is some other data here as well. Uh, so I don't know what this is, but like you can see it doesn't affect the image. Uh, and this here is the color palette for the image. So some PNG files actually use a color palette. And you can see that we can like glitch the colors. Uh, and yeah, it's really cool how it like changes throughout the entire image just like that. Um, and I think this here is like some gamma stuff. Uh, I didn't really see much of a difference. Uh, and this here is like the, I think the like image size data. You can see <laughs> it kind of froze my thing. Um, there we go. Uh, because like it's, creating like very small or very big images if you mess around with these ones. And over here, you can of course like hide and show the different things you've applied. So if you like uh, add some glitches and later on decide, oh, I didn't like the, the one that adds this color here. Which one was it? This one? Oh, you can remove it. You can edit it. <laughs> so of course the X like deletes it. And so that's how you can play with images. Uh, let's check out another image. Uh, this is my logo and you can see here that this uh, PNG does not use a color palette. So if I move it here, it's not gonna like have any color effects. But this image data itself, it will have color effects. And some of these effects look amazing on PNGs. Uh, so if we poke around here for a bit, maybe we can find something. Ooh, that's not quite it. Um, ooh, I think I saw something. Ah, oh, yep, there we go. So you can see like uh, on PNGs, you get like effects like that and you can like try different variations and stuff. And it like almost looks like it's glowing or shining or something like a gradient or something. Let's see if we can get another one. I think I just saw one somewhere here. And if you find an area you like, you can hold shift and it will zoom in to that area. It's not like super necessary for like small PNGs like this one. Um, but uh, if you have a very big image, uh, it can be very useful. So I'll show that later. But let's see if we can find some other cool glitches here real quick. Ooh, I like, I think I saw some like, ooh, ah, there we go. That looks awesome. So I've applied a few glitches now. I can like 
hide and show like them individually to see what I want to create. And of course I can edit them. See this one like, <laughs> it's like dragging some stuff around apparently. Um, so yeah, very fun to play around. But uh, let's check out a JPEG. So this is a, uh, an art piece by subject number 2394. Two, I'll leave a link to this art in the description as well. And you can see that this data is like very small because this file is like two megabytes. So um, yeah, but uh, if you hold shift, you can zoom into a section and it will be very um, nice. <laughs> So let's try to make a clip chart. I want to like have like lines growing through here. They're like bluish or something. So let's say I want one over here. So this is the like right spot in the data. And I press shift and now I can poke around and see if I can find anything with like cool color effects or something. Ooh, this looks very blue. I'm not sure if I want that. Let's just save it. Oh, I think I like this one more. Let's see. So this was the one we had before, and this is the other one. I like this. This is all very like subtle. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do one over here. Let's see what colors we can get. And yeah, that's how you can like begin to stack up the like glitches and stuff. Oh yeah, that looks good. Uh, so yeah, you can like stack stuff up like that. Uh, but as with PNGs, JPEGs also have like interesting stuff in the very beginning. So how you can modify those is you just put your mouse like over here. You hold down shift. This here is like the image data, uh, but this stuff like before these like pink things is like the header stuff. And there's like very cool stuff over here, as you can see, like that completely messes up the image. So like over here, I think we have like, yeah, these like JPEG patterns. So you can have like uh, something like that. Yeah, I really like how like this stuff looks. And you can actually have stuff that looks like really messed up, like um, like these ones, yeah. So if you take something like that and you scroll through it, you can see it's like almost like water or something. Uh -huh. It's like uh, spreading around. So it's very fun to mess around with this stuff. There's also like similar patterns for the like colors and stuff. So oh, there we go. See, like if we go a bit further, you can see we can get these like color lines almost. Yeah, something like that. I like that. But if you like come all the way here, <laughs> you can get something like that looks crazy. Oh, I love that. Let me save that as well. Uh, but yeah, like something like that looks very cool. And like some of this stuff here like completely messes up the image. So wow, this is like I don't even know what's going on. I'm going to save those though. These look awesome. Ooh, yeah, these ones like this like completely mess everything up. Ooh, but I like I like these ones too. Let me. But yeah, you can like play around with this stuff. You can like see what different effects you have and then you can just combine them and edit them to see what you can do. So yeah, I think this looks very cool. It kind of looks like a VHS recording or something. So now that we're happy with how this looks, we can of course just click the save button and this will save the JPEG. Uh, but there's also this project button here. And if you click this, it will save the entire project. And if you decide later that you maybe like this grid chart, but you don't like this, like some of these effects, you can simply take your project file, uh, drop it here or use the like open button. And then you have the same thing as before. So you can like, hide different effects and combine them and see what you want to create. So yeah, this <laughs> this looks awesome. I love this. It's also a very beautiful artwork, so I'll leave a link in the description for it. But something you may have noticed is that as I move my mouse from the top to the bottom, it like affects the image in the same way. So it like starts from the top, goes to the bottom, and this is like just the entire image in like one go. So this is because this is not a progressive JPEG, uh, but some JPEGs are progressive. Um, so if I take this one, you can see this uh, JPEG is progressive because they are gay. Uh, also because it like uh, loads the image in different parts. So at first it loads a very blurry version and then at last it like loads the high resolution version or whatever. So you can see um, as I start like glitching stuff uh, at the bottom here, 
Uh, almost nothing happens, but as I move up, more and more is gonna happen. You can see it's a bit noisy now. Ooh, and over here you can see some like color artifacting. Ah, ooh, yep, this one looks good. You can see these like outlines. <laughs> um, and yeah, here is the like original pass, I guess. It has like wild glitch effects, but uh, it's very cool if you want to like create this like coast effects or something. Uh, you can like just mess around with it, create something fun. Looks very cool. And of course, you can also mess with the header. Oop, <laughs> that was a bit laggy. Uh, but you can see like it's very fun how like these like different parts affect like different parts of the image. <laughs> you can like change the colors of different parts, and I don't think this is using like palettes. Uh, but it's just like affecting some like random stuff that's like changing the colors of other stuff. Oh, I think we can. Ooh, yeah, I want the the, the one. Yep, this one. <laughs> Very fun. You can just like <laughs> mess up the colors and stuff. And, and it's also like very fun too. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, you can see like you can get some very cool glitch effects with this thing. Uh, just like, uh, just like try saving your images in like different formats, and even in the same formats, just try out all the like different settings your image editor has, and see like what types of mess you can just make with this stuff. This is really fun. <laughs> this is like completely messed up. All right, so next I'm gonna show you something that you're gonna love, which is a WebP file. I know everyone loves WebP files, especially when they're trying to download stuff for their like presentation or something, and it's a WebP, they are loving it. Uh, but the, the cool thing about WebP files is that they are like sort of using video compression encoding tricks. So they kind of glitch out the same way as like a video does uh, and it's very fun to play around with. You get very unique patterns. And another cool thing about WebPs is that oftentimes they actually store the transparency separately from the actual like image data. So you can see if I glitch this part out, the image data is fine, but the transparency is getting messed up. And what you can do with that is get like something like this. Um, and you can see that there is this like black stuff behind it. On some WebP files, you actually have stuff in the transparency areas, which is really fun. Uh, but what you can do now is we have this like silhouette here. We can start applying glitches over here and it like spreads into the transparent area. So if you find a spot that like creates a cool effect, you can almost like <laughs> create this like silhouette art or something. I think this looks very cool. Um, and lastly, I'm gonna show you a GIF. So GIF files are really cool here. Uh, this is also another very cool artwork by Ghostmist. Uh, I'll leave that in the description as well. But yeah, GIF files are awesome because they are like very primitive. So the kind of glitches you get from them are very different from like other file formats. Uh, and they also like have a global palette across all frames. So if you find it here, you can actually like change the colors in the PNG, you can, or not the PNG, the GIF, you can corrupt them. You can corrupt them like this and like recolor the entire GIF into different colors. And the animation method GIFs use is also very cool. So if you like find the right spot. Ooh, I think I like this area. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, that's it. Like this kind of stuff is so cool because like it adds like a little touch of noise without like looking too messed up. You gotta hunt for these locations, like some places just mess everything up. But yeah, also like you can just experiment with different kinds of GIFs, like some GIFs just like, like you just have like really wild stuff. So you just gotta play around and see what you have. Um, all right, that's it for my like showcase tutorial thing of this web app. Uh, you can of course find the link in the description. Uh, as mentioned here, uh, this processing, everything is done on your computer. Nothing gets sent to my server. Um, you can find the source code on the GitHub link here. Uh, and actually what you can even do is you can just press Control S, you know, save this thing wherever you want. And you can just use it offline. Uh, it's a bit glitchy offline, but 
yeah, Z works fine. You can just um, and if you're an artist and you use this tool for your artwork, uh, please share what you make with me. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, this is also all like free to use. You don't like even need to give me credit or whatever. Uh, I mean, I would uh, love to have people like share this site around and stuff, but like uh, feel free to use it for whatever. Feel free to do whatever you want. Um, hope you have fun. <laughs>